Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 20th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, everything else affecting humanity, earthquakes, volcanoes, and everything else. Looking here at the last 48 hours of imagery of our sun, 304 angstroms, able to see plasma filaments lifting away, bottom right-hand side there, but no major sun events thwarted our way over the past 48 hours. We were expecting the coronal hole wind stream. We are seeing that now. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, a little glitch in the images there. A couple bright spots that are incoming, getting ready for an earth-facing time. Looking at the outgoing imagery here, we have one bright spot that is outgoing and a lot of plasma spinning around, maybe even a solar tornado on the left-hand side there. You can see it on a different spectrum here, multi-spectrum looking at all the events. We did have a small flare today, just about C-class flare range. And as I said, we were expecting the coronal hole wind stream, which did increase our solar winds quite dramatically. And you will see momentarily when I show those images with you here. I wanted to show you the solar tornado that was spinning. <clears throat> Excuse me, a plasma filament that was erecting from the sun. Multi-spectrum there. 171 angstroms here. You can see that departing coronal hole no longer in an earth-facing position. A small one going into earth-facing position. Space prediction spiral here is showing that small CME directed right at Mars, or sorry, directed right at Mercury. Yet again, that's about three CMEs that have been belted out towards Mercury during this retrograde over the past week and a half. Looking here, Lasco 2 and 3, showing the last few images from that CME. We are Hovering just above B class range, almost C class flare today. Real time solar wind, we are jacked right up here, 538 kilometers per second from our regular 400 kilometers earlier on in the day. So the coronal hole wind stream is here and affecting our planet right now. Looking at the magnetospheric cut planes for the solar winds here. equatorial plane and as well the noon midnight meridional plane geospace mag magnetosphere cut planes for pressure we can expect earthquakes to increase over the next 24 hours pretty much as we speak right now we're already 260 earthquakes the last 24 hours schumann resonance for today a power of 10 pretty low power and it has been like that for a few days now. Power of 10, a quality of 14.2. Let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours across the planet. We're going to start out here in North America as we did see a sizable earthquake at the Geysers, California this morning. 3.4 as well as 3.7 here in Trepinos, California. A 3.1 here reported Stanley, Idaho, 10 kilometer depth. As well, continuing earthquakes through White City, New Mexico, the border with Texas. Way too quiet here through the Caribbean plate. Only seeing a 3.6 there, Dominican Republic plus the 2.7. Way too quiet, South America, Central America right now. That is a little bit scary. Looking at Asan, Chile with a 4.2. As well, 4.9 here, South Sandwich Islands. Up into Europe, 4.3 here in Greece, as well as 4.4 in Van, Turkey, 10 kilometer depth, 4.7 in Alkan Yurt, Russia as well. China shaking with this 4.6 in Xinguan, China, as well as 4.2 reported there, Philippines, 4.9 Mariana Islands region. 4.8 Indonesia, Lombok, and as well the 4.9 here in Abapura, Indonesia. 
5.1 reported Solomon Islands 205 kilometer depth. That's the deepest and the largest of the day. So pretty quiet across this map right now for the last 24 hours. Watch for increased seismicity through Alaska as we're watching those approaching lows. Heading up into the guts of Alaska, Anchorage, and there are more to come. Stay tuned for the weather forecast coming up towards the end of the wind video. Have a quick look at the last seven days across the planet for earthquakes. Still seeing a lot of deep earthquakes. But over the past 36 to 48 hours, we've seen a lot of fours and shallow. Not many large earthquakes the last few days. Expecting something larger, probably tonight into tomorrow. Central America, South America, and up into the Juan de Fuca. Way too quiet through there. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Fuego in Guatemala. As well, Sangay in Ecuador. Manam in Papua New Guinea. Languila, Papua New Guinea. Swiss in Ajima, Japan. Apopo in Mexico. La Palma in Spain. Reventador in Ecuador. Sabancaya in Peru. Nevados de Chilean. Nevados de Ruiz. As well, Karamiski, Russia. Semis Napochnoi, United States, and as well Asosan, Japan, with a very large and surprising eruption as they weren't even on alert level. This thing exploded early, early this morning, overnight for our time, but early in the morning it did bring out quite a blast. And that is all the volcanoes getting updated today. That's about 15 volcanoes getting updated and Asosan is wide awake. No major typhoons or hurricanes to talk about. We do have some approaching lows that are pretty close to hurricane conditions. Let's start out here. Five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and daily events worldwide starting out home base, Brantford, Ontario. As we had some very cool temperatures that are going to be moving in the next couple of days. But it's not going to last long as we have an approaching low from the states. It's going to bring up some warmer weather. But pretty much this will be the last warm spell for parts of eastern Canada. As a big cold high pressure ridge is getting ready to move in. And so will the snow. But watching here. Saturday into Sunday and Monday. Watch for extreme weather across central United States here. It could be very extreme at times. Heavy rains, strong winds, and storms. As well, watching here along the coastline of BC and the United States, watch for an atmospheric river of moisture to be flooded down as far south as California. So northern California, you've got quite a bit of rain ahead of you here. And as well, heavy snow, higher elevations. Any higher elevations, we are receiving snow right now. But still, big lows heading into the coastline there. Overlooking the Atlantic, big high pressure ridge is pretty dominant. Not letting anything form. Big system there moving up into Iceland and Greenland. And as well, Newfoundland watched low pressure system later in the week. Overlooking Europe, very big system affecting parts of northeastern Europe. And you've got another one coming. Thanks to Canada. So watch for cool temperatures to move in most of Central and Eastern Europe. Snow, higher elevations, and as well a low developing in the Mediterranean later in the week. Overlooking Russia. You've got one, two, three lows spinning through the country this week. Most likely we'll be bringing a lot of snow and some cold temperatures further southward. Overlooking Southeast Asia, no major weather events except for this system heading out of Japan. Long range forecast will be on the coast of North America. No major weather systems heading through India this week, drying up after seeing some extreme weather. And then watch here as we could have two tropical storms developing in the long range. 
The first one over the Philippines most likely won't be, but the second one could turn into a major typhoon in the long-range forecast. So stay tuned to Morning Dew. Overlooking Australia, daily evaporation rains through parts of North Australia and South Australia. You have one low-pressure system affecting you there. And as well, a bunch of rain heading into New Zealand this week as you have an approaching low. No major weather systems heading towards Hawaii. Overlooking the North Pacific here, big systems, as I've been warning and talking about this last little bit, they are getting bigger and they're getting stronger and a lot more moisturous. Here's the tropical system that will be heading towards the Gulf of California, long-range forecast. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains and watch for this low to move in Saturday and Sunday parts of Argentina and the border with Brazil. Watch for those systems to rapidly intensify over the three-day spell. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you. Low pressure system moving out of South Africa. Other than that, not much to talk about. And again, no typhoons, no hurricanes going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere versus the southern much love to everybody and thank you so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed the daily do giving you a world update prayers for humanity stay young and have fun stay aware and prepared and get your morning do bye bye now much love If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.